47 seconds of logos. Also, DC Comics. I used to want to save the world. Narration. A question for the security personnel. If you're taking this much care to lock this briefcase away in the armored truck, why on Batman's Blue Earth did you park this far away from your entry point? Seriously, look at the shot from above. Here's the van. Here's the entry point. Just put on a fake beak and take a seat in the triangle pond, because you just made yourself a sitting duck. Why is her main work desk directly in the corner of all the fabulous artifacts she and the museum have collected? This is like the bank manager having his office inside the safe deposit box vault. Jesus Christ, this movie's gonna take me all the way back to Wonder Little Girl times? CGI Asgard and CGI Naboo got nothing on CGI... Um... Wonder Woman place. Also, couldn't the movie have started here? Little girl running in an ancient city? Probably Wonder Woman, but I'm intrigued enough to pay close attention. I mean, why do we need the opening intro of her in present day being a curator? I thought I had seen enough from the Zack Snyder school of slow-mo badassery, but holy did you just see that 10-foot spinning flip sword toss? That mo could never be too slow. Random daytime armadillo is random. Also, what is it with DC superheroes and childhoods? Other than the very forgettable Daredevil, what Marvel movies can you think of that spend time on the hero's childhood? Anyone? Bueller? And yet, in the DC world, Superman, Batman, and now Wonder Woman. We always have to have a childhood opening our flashback. Long ago. Help me understand this bedtime book. Is it just the one picture? Is it Potter style coming to life for Diana? Also, three full minutes of bedtime story exposition. Who would wield it? I pray it will never be called to arms. Classic not answering the question. After aging from 7 to 13 and presumably training with Robin Wright for the whole time, finally her mother catches her training. My point is, the movie chose a poor time to rapidly age up Diana, only to then introduce this caught-by-mom scene. Mom was asleep at the wheel for years before this. You will train her harder than any Amazon before her. Whoa, she just did a 180 faster and more flawlessly than that red-headed snowboard guy everybody loved 10 years ago. She must never know the truth about what she is or how she came to be. Meaning she will definitely know that shit soon in this movie. Diana went from 7 years old to 13 to however old she can be with Gal Gadot still pulling it off. Guessing early 20s. This movie is doing some random time jumps. You're stronger than this, Diana. Again. Hey everybody, Morpheus is fighting me. I mean, Princess Buttercup is fighting Diana. This asshole crash lands his World War I plane in a mythical, basically non-existent land. But thankfully for him, there was a brave local rebellious Princess Ex Machina watching the shore at that very moment. Convenient. Plane piece is convenient if this is where the plane breaks through and this is where it lands. Unless Wonder Woman javelined a piece of the plane about 300 feet, there's no way this plane part would be floating here this soon after. If wherever the f*** Diana and her kin live is this easily infiltrated, then it was never really hidden at all. And I'm shocked no one prior to World War I even accidentally found this cloaked paradise. Like Magellan or Vasco da Gama or some Also, exactly what good is this hiding field if you can actually see things through it? Zeus needs to up his camouflage game. Discount from here to eternity. Ready your bows! How did these arrows all get lit so fast? And honestly, if you're firing out into the ocean, does it even help? The movie will go out of its way later to show how much they know about the outside world, but they're about to fire flaming arrows at an armored German naval division. <laughs> there is no way this archer and this bullet should be moving at the same speed. That's either a super slow bullet that poses no danger, or that archer is swinging at about 700 miles an hour. Wow, anti anti has got skills we've seen before. Legolas would definitely swipe right, is what I'm saying. No! No, no. You must go. Mentor's death motivates protagonist cliche. Somehow these ladies with fire arrows defeated a German naval battalion. And somehow that German destroyer we saw earlier played no part in this battle. And I guess it just disappeared. Where was the firepower? You. No, mother, no. He fought at my side against the what invaders. Man? Um, you mean he hid by your side from the invaders, right? General Ludendorff. Exposition by Lasso. Why would any military in any war conduct this kind of experiment in full view of the general officers? I mean, I get she's a psychopath, but that's just a waste of a good test subject right there. This plane is airborne in about four seconds after traveling 50 feet. I'm not saying you need a fast and furious length runway to get airborne, but I'm pretty sure even the strongest dose of aviation Viagra won't get it up that quick. Even though Steve Not Rogers blew the f out of this base, the Germans still managed to be right behind him when he approached Wonder Woman land. Would you say you're a typical example of your sex? Movie's got dick jokes, yo. Good thing it's still ticking. You let this little thing tell you what to do. We are still talking about the watch, right? Deep within the Amazonian jungle, there exists a species of elk so stupid and so unevolved that even the most primitive of weapons can bring her down. Why is this here? Nice outfit. Oh, this old thing? I just found it hanging in the middle of a room while I was stealing several priceless weapons that were unguarded. And it happened to not only fit me perfectly, but be colored completely different than anything else the other Amazonian women wear. You like it, huh? I know. Or at least I know I cannot stop you. I just rode in here in the middle of the night with a dozen of my warriors to say goodbye, apparently. You have been my greatest love. Today, you are my greatest sorrow. Thanks for the vote of confidence! So the ship will just sail itself then? 
Is it a Tesla? Like the original Tesla? Have you never met a man before? I mean, what about your father? I had no father. My mother sculpted me from clay and I was brought to life by Zeus. This is the DCEU essentially rolling the Greek gods into actual reality. And that is just kooky enough to deserve mention. Think about that. Greek gods from mythology actually exist in the DCEU. Hades might be a villain one day. Hell, Ares is literally the villain of this movie. Something did come to me last night. A different type of gas for you to restore your strength. Let's test it right now on you without any further research. After all, it came to me last night, which was hours ago. I've had hours to perfect and test it on animals and shit. Let's do this. Why are they holding hands? Now wait a second, movie. You've established that Diana has been educated in the languages and customs of humans across the world, and even read all 12 volumes of some academic porn encyclopedia, but she doesn't know what holding hands is? She can't be both worldly wise and a fish out of water at the same time. No one will be seated during the Princess Diaries portion of the movie. Oh, she's trying on outfit number 226. F you, movie. I understand how time works. You over-exaggerated this joke by a factor of 10. Wonder Woman can now graduate with honors from the Clark Kent School of Disguising. Yep, yeah, really specs. And suddenly she's not the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. See, the secretary here would be excellent at cinema sins. Please put the sword down, Diana. How did she pull it out and walk here without everyone else in the store freaking the f*** out? They're all acting like they're seeing a guy with a mohawk, when in reality what they're seeing is 50 times more rare and scary. This is the most telegraphed headbutt in all of moviedom. Serious question, do the bracelets act like bullet magnets? Or are these morons repeatedly firing at her at shoulder level, watching her block every shot with no one thinking to shoot her in the goddamn foot? Any further intelligence? Just moments earlier, this room of sexist mustaches guffawed Diana out of the room, but now she's just moseying around as they discuss war intelligence. She opens the book to the middle and miraculously reads about the very gas Steve saw during his mission. And he goes, Sir. That is the evidence we need. And no one in the room gives any more thought to any of the other military secrets and horrifying signs that might also be in that notebook. You have no money. No. Tout ce dont j'ai besoin, c'est une photo de votre jolie. Samir loses interest in the job and goes back to his excessive fondness for Diana. This is what I call Gal Gadoti. Charming Etta here mm -hmm. could uh, run the mission from my office here. Yeah. Run. Either Melissa McCarthy turned down this role or the character description was literally act like Melissa McCarthy. There's enough here for a few days. A few days what? Room and board, weapons they need, bribing people to get them across the border. The Irish sniper guy's beer budget alone is probably more than what's in that envelope. Also, thank God he knows exactly which pub the hooligans Steve might recruit for his illegal mission hang out in. Either that or there's only one pub in England, which we all know ain't true. We get what we deserve. Bang. Bang. I have no idea where they are right now, enemy territory or friendly, but on a covert, non-sanctioned, secret spy mission to end the war, is a huge open flame and copious drinking really wise? Nowhere better to be than in a war where you don't take a side. At least here. I'm free. Sure, I understand him not wanting to be in the U.S., but why not Canada or Mexico? This is no man's land, Diana. It means no man can cross it. But she's not a man. Oh. She's taking all the fire. Let's go. She's taking all the fire because she's currently the only target. Give the Germans a few more targets, and I bet some of them start taking fire. But whatever. I'm still not sure her bracelets aren't bullet magnets. So this is awesome. And also, if I'm being honest, a bit unrealistic. I mean, I know Diana is quick at blocking bullets and all, but with this much automatic fire, if she's not completely behind that shield, she's taking some lead to the legs for sure. I know you can't see in there, but we can all assume this is a stormtrooper, right? I mean, these shots are so off, Wonder Woman gets a chance to superhero pose twice before even addressing it. Come on, Charlie, shoot him! The movie takes great pains to show us that Charlie has lost his ability to shoot and never pays it off with any kind of redemption. Poor Charlie. I like how Steve and this movie thought Wonder Woman needed a boost to make this jump. I know you can't speak Flemish, so let me interpret. They are saying, the demon witch, she purposely destroyed our temple, she is here to eat our souls. Well, at least they should be saying that. I am an actor. I love acting. I didn't want to be a soldier. Skip. No, 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 but I located him. And oh, lucky you, he's only a few miles away. Lucky indeed. If it wasn't already obvious to you that David Thewlis' character was evil, this please pay attention now focus change by the cameras here to hold your hand through the foreshadowing. These folks are happy the Germans are gone for sure, but they witnessed a handful of legit miracles today. And this seems like more of a Susie got married again block party. You did this. We did. F off. It was all you and you know it. Jesus. So give me your hand. Like so. Movie has time for this, as does the war and the secret mission to find and destroy the gas weapon before the Germans can use it. You saw what happened out there. The way she charged that machine gun list the way she took out that tower. Why do bystanders talk about superheroes so casually in these movies? She jumped 80 feet in the air for Pete's sake. She freaking tossed a tank. Forget trying to decide if what she says is true. How are you not either questioning your sanity or worshiping her as a god by now? You think we drove all the way to the mud and drag? So for this gag to work, it needs to be common for German officers to speak English. 
Maybe it was. And yes, he's technically talking to his driver here. But this is 1918. I'm pretty sure anyone driving German officers for a living is speaking German, not English. And even his driver is speaking English to the German soldier guard. What, could Chris Pine do a German accent, but not learn to speak two lines of actual German? I lost the colonel's invitation. What? Don't worry about it. We all know they'll let you in anyway, because it says so in the script. What I'm more concerned about is how they don't recognize Steve. Those guys on the street in England certainly knew him by sight. Shouldn't he be on Germany's Most Wanted by now? As if it wasn't convenient enough that this right-sized attendee happened to get stopped right here, now she's going to walk straight into the woods at the exact place Diana is waiting? I might as well have had the dress fall from the sky. Who are you? A man who would show you the appreciation a genius like yourself deserves. Steve makes a huge gamble that she feels unappreciated, and of course he's right, because movie. Last we left Diana, she was on the side of the road sizing up that blue dress. So what happened next? Certainly the driver would have noticed a passenger switch, or a missing passenger. And what about her invite? Did she leave the former dress occupant unconscious and undressed by the side of the road? That's dirty, Diana. Wow, what a beautiful shoulder blade back brooch thing that looks nothing like the hilt of a sword you were wearing tonight, Diana. Shoulder back brooches are a thing, right? Enjoying the party? English, the official language of World War I Germany. Keep in mind that Diana has proven to be fluent in many dozens of languages, and I'm sure German is one of them. But apparently at the halfway point of the film, the studio ran out of dialect trainer money or some sh**. For the record, she spends a lot of time dancing with the guy she's here to kill, just letting him rant. Diana, the gas. Hmm. Maybe last night's snowfall dance and drunkathon, not to mention the implied boning, were ultimately a huge waste of time, considering you missed stopping the gas by literally minutes. So she had her Under Armour on that whole time? Under that thin blue dress? And Ludendorff couldn't feel it because... What is it with this movie and just assuming Diana is invincible? I'm not saying she couldn't survive this lethal gas. I'm just saying we haven't been given any reason to believe she would, and more importantly, neither has she. Well, sh here's another literal machine delivered by the hand of God. What luck. So not only can she deflect bullets, but she can direct them with pinpoint accuracy? Go drunk, movie. You're home. Sir Patrick, you, you're him. Fucking told you. Shock of all shocks. Also, let me get Ares' plan straight here. Spend decades as a diplomat, work his way into a cabinet position, so that he can influence a possible armistice in order to keep a war simmering? He's a god, isn't he? He does have more than the power to grow a great mustache and be ignored at cabinet meetings, right? How are gas masks a good disguise for sneaking into a German base manufacturing a gas for which gas masks provide no protection? Like, yeah, it hides your face. But why would any Germans be wearing useless gas masks in this place? Well, she's out of luck in this battle, I guess. Nice to know you, Wonder Woman. Unless you discover some heretofore unknown well of power and strength inside you here in a few minutes. My dear, I don't want to fight you. But it is a superhero movie, so let the endless punching commence. Throwing a box of grenades at a fucking god! That explosion conveniently blew her directly into Steve Trevor's running path. It's almost like Ares has a sense of humor or something. This plane door opens easily from the outside during takeoff. Were they expecting a pizza delivery? Why exactly does all this god punching even matter? Diana knows at this point that Steve and Ares are right about humans being weak. He's barely doing anything and man is willing to go to war. Seems to me no matter who wins, people be people. But why? If the gas is flammable and all you have to do is make it explode, why not land the plane away from the people and set a charge? I mean, it's a beautiful sentiment and all, but completely unnecessary. Magically and just in time, Diana discovers a deeper well of her power she never knew existed. Huzzah! Whatever it is, I can no. do it. Wait, so she could hear him or she couldn't? Or she couldn't, but now she can in her memory? Or she can read lips, but only after 10 minutes or so? Or maybe she's traveling back in time so she can hear what he said? Or maybe, forget it. It doesn't matter anyway. We all know where this is headed. What the f*** is this sh This is Wonder Woman? This is more like Godzilla breath here. It's a good thing the movie so clearly explained how she got these powers, what they are, and how to defeat a god that Zeus couldn't even kill. Why are they holding hands? We should kill him now, and be done with it. I see we let him go. No! What the hell is this thing? The pen is blue. The pen is blue! I am Moana of Motunu. This is my canoe. You're stronger than this, Diane. You think that's air you're breathing now? Can you get some towels for me, please? I'm really losing a lot of blood. You sound like you're from London. Oh, weapons far deadlier than you can ever imagine. I don't know, I can imagine quite a bit. I am Diana of Themyscira, daughter of Hippolyta. 
queen of the Amazons. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Come in!